Hey everybody, it's Zach Hurst with EV Resource, and today I'm gonna to be changing the cabin air filter on my 2021 Tesla Model 3. Now the particular air filters that I chose to go with were just off of Amazon, very affordable. The EP Auto CP681. So that should be easy to find. I can probably find what I got on Amazon and put the link in the, the video notes. But it actually, for the Model 3, there's two different filters and I'll actually show you more about that here in a second. But to start the process, the air filters are located behind this panel. So in addition to removing this panel, we also have to remove this panel up here because they're up in there. So in order to do that, you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver. I've got a small one right here that's super easy to work with. And then also Torx bits. So if you don't have these, you can find those at your uh, tool store and they have different size. They're basically six pointed bits. I don't know what size I'm gonna need, but I do know I'm going to need that. So let's take a look. Looking down underneath here at this panel, there are four of these pieces, little clips, and then one up here, that I'm gonna use the flathead screwdriver to remove. So they just look like that. And I'll go ahead and get these. So with those four clips removed, I'm just gonna come up here and pull this down. Now, you will find attached to this the footwell light right here, and also this little speaker. So you wanna undo those. That just pulls right out. This one, you push down on the little tab here. I don't know if you, that's push down on the tab and then pull it out. So that is good and out of the way. So now we can see access to the computer here and we need to remove this guy. So this, you can just put your fingers back here and it, it's all clipped in. So just work your way around it to remove the clips from behind. They pull out very easily. All right, and that's easy to get out. So the area we want to access is this piece right here. We wanna remove that. So it's just a little Torx bit down here and it actually clips in at the top. So when we remove this, we should be able to pull the whole thing off. I've got my Torx bit here and these are actually loose enough. I don't need to attach the ratchet to this. I can just put that right on here. I'm using a T15. Uh, it's a little loose in the, uh, I guess you could say the socket of the head of the screw there. So this might take a T20. Unfortunately, I can't find my T20 bit. So I'm working with what I have. Uh, if you can find the right one, and if somebody can use a T20, I, I do think that's the right one. So we'll just pull that out and then this will just come right down. Now they used to be having the bolt at the top and the clip at the bottom, but Tesla changed the design. So that actually it's a lot easier. So what this is the cabin air filter, one of the two. So you can just pull down this little flap. So this is the cabin air filter here. I'm just gonna pull the little flap at the top and just pull that right out. Now, remember there are two. So this one is for the filter on the bottom. I'm gonna slide that up, pull that out. And uh, here you go, both of the cabin air filters. Now they do look a little dirty. You know, you can see that kind of looking in there. So it definitely will be good to change that out. Now I am gonna take a peek at the 
evaporator in here, the coils, because you wanna make sure those are clean, otherwise the smell uh, will still be there. Now, these are actually looking pretty good, so I'm gonna take the chance of replacing the filters without doing anything to the coil. When you're installing these, you wanna make sure that you're putting the airflow the correct way. So in this case, if airflow is going from the right to the left, that's how we want to orient it, putting it in. So go ahead, get that. Let, let me switch hands. All right, one in, that'll drop to the bottom. Make sure that when you're putting the other one in, you're not blocking this tab. That way, uh, when you need to go pull them out again, it'll be a lot easier. All right, we've got both of the filters in, the bottom one as well as at the top. So now we're just gonna put everything back together. Now, something of note, the carpeted panel that goes here has these little white clips. And when you pull it off, they can actually stay in where they're clipped. So you wanna pull those out don't lose them and attach them back on here where you can see this one's already there, but on the other places, they're not. So you actually wanna just reinstall those before you put this panel back on and that'll make your life a lot easier. Now I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit because we definitely need to put the panel for the cabin air filter back on. So let me go ahead and do that. Then we'll put this back on and then replace the piece up there. Now what I've found is for this panel here, it's easiest to start in the back, put that in, clip it in, and then just work your way forwards to make sure everything's seated properly. All right, and we'll reconnect the speaker and our little light. I don't recommend filming a video while you're trying to do this because it does make it more difficult. So I'm gonna finish up here uh, without recording, but we'll get that put back up there and uh, that'll be pretty much it. So there you go, changing the cabin air filter on a 2021 Tesla Model 3. And it's important to point that out because of course these cars change year to year and even uh, more frequently than that. So. This process for this car is actually different than some of the other videos that you might find out there. So just keep an eye on how recent it is and then you can apply that to whatever car you might have. So thank you so much for watching. Definitely subscribe to the EV Resource channel for more content. I hope to be putting out more videos like this coming in the future. Don't forget to hit like on the video and leave your comments below any questions you might have and I'll see you next time.